you want to really be thinking holistically as a brand, like what is it that we're using to get people engaged with our brand, to drive traffic to our site, to get people to convert, and to actually make a sale. You are listening to Thrive by Design, business, marketing, and lifestyle strategies for your jewelry brand to flourish and thrive. Let's get started. Welcome to the Thrive by Design podcast, episode number 113. I'm Tracy Matthews. Yo, I'm here, the Chief Visionary Officer of Flourish and Thrive Academy, and I just had a little bit of vegan ice cream. I'm not a vegan, but I like vegan ice cream, and I think I'm a little hopped up on sugar right now. That might be the truth, but anyway, real life, we are here in part three of our Digital Marketing Momentum series. I'm really excited about today's episode because this is all about giving yourself a little digital marketing strategy checkup, and we're all about checking in, assessing, and trying to figure out where our gaps are so that we can improve and get better. And so this whole week has been focused completely on online sales, digital marketing, branding, everything that has to do about building a business online. And I think it's very a very good time to have it because we're, you know, we're rolling into the holiday season, right? And a lot of us are trying to sell more through our websites. In fact, this is a little bit of a sidebar, but I just posted something in our Diamond Insiders this evening about, uh, a client of mine that I got through a website inquiry who ended up up leveling his budget by about six thousand uh, dollars which is pretty cool just by you know trusting in me and the process of what I do and so I'll tell you a little bit more about the story uh, this client came in he's buying something for a special friend of his who's turning 40 this year and he wanted to get her a platinum in and birthstone uh, set for her birthday and he reached out to me about a, like a while ago, uh, maybe in January or something. And I said, you know, you don't need an entire year to, to design a necklace and a bracelet, but so I'll check back with you in a few months. So I was going through and, you know, he followed up a couple months later. We followed up and connected and we, I started sourcing stones, got everything. And the other night I was, uh, or tonight actually, I was uh, going through, sending him his invoice because we're getting ready to actually have the pieces made. And I was looking through the form, you know, because I'm always curious, how do people find me? And I wanted to just like remind myself, like how he found me and all that stuff. And he said, "Um, I found you through Google surfing, which is great because for some reason, the keywords that he was searching for, he found my website, which is awesome. Custom jewelry designer, New York, birthstone gifts, special occasion gifts, etc. And he made a special note on the form saying that I really liked the video on your website, which I think is really interesting because when I was planning my digital marketing strategy for my new business, uh, the TracyMatthews.com business, when I was starting over back in the day, I knew that one of the things that I was going to have to do selling really expensive jewelry online was to get customers to trust me. And I'm like, how do you get customers to trust you when there's, you know, not a physical product or you're you're reaching out in a different way or maybe you're not getting exposure by being in stores or getting a lot of publicity? Well, one of the ways that I build trust on my website is through the use of video. And it's something that I think is really important for all of you to be thinking about is like, how are you going to build trust on your website? And for each brand, it might be a little bit different, but for most of you, video might be an important part of your strategy, which is the overarching theme of what you're going for and what you want, your you desire, I should say, your end result. Because what we all wanna build are irresistible brands that people remember, that people are lusting after our jewelry and coming back for more over and over and over again because they're trying to build repeat business. And I don't know about you, but I'm sure most of us get really excited when we wake up in the morning to see orders in our inbox, right? That's a really satisfying feeling and it's a really awesome way for us to continue to build a business on autopilot. And once we start to sort of implement strategies that are actually working, we can start to scale those same strategies so that we can work a little bit less, right? You know, once you get something that's working, you can, you know, put money behind it, advertising, or just do a little bit more of that and start to scale it and it starts to grow, which is really amazing. So 
Anyway, I, I wanted to tell you that little sidebar story because I think it's important and it's part of a bigger overarching digital marketing strategy, which is what we're going to talk about today. And I'm very excited. And as you might have heard me talking about, this is part three in our five part series, five days of podcasts, which is awesome. And it all started on Monday, which was part one of the series, your sold out e-store website checklist, which is great. This is a really great rundown. If you haven't listened to episode number 111, make sure that you do that now. Yesterday, I spoke with Melissa Camilleri Anasich, and we talked about how to brand for more sales online, which is really important because what we're really trying to do is to create a brand that people connect with, that they resonate with, that they think about when they're buying gifts or buying for themselves. This is very, very important. And Melissa is very crystal clear on who her customer is, and her customers are mostly buying gifts for other people, which is awesome. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to master your digital marketing strategy, which I am super pumped about. And tomorrow, I interview Kathleen Cutler, and we're talking about how to use paid traffic and automation to make sales on autopilot, which is awesome. And part five comes out on Friday, and we're gonna be talking about tracking metrics for results and actually using data to grow your business and understand what the heck all this stuff means, which I'm excited about. So this whole series is all wrapped around something very special that we are giving to you. It's a free digital marketing momentum scorecard. And I'm very excited about this because I know a lot of the designers that we work with, not only in our Diamond Insiders, but in our mastermind program in the past, in our new SOS Accelerator, have told us that they're really excited about building their business online. And they wanna learn more digital marketing techniques and strategies and get one-on-one -on -one feedback so they know what they're doing. And this has been a really fun experiment because in our mastermind last year, I worked with a couple of the designers to really focus on digital marketing strategy. Oftentimes I, you know, help them with collection development and, you know, copy and all that stuff. But this was really fun because a couple of the designers really wanted to make big changes online. And we saw a huge transformation with one of our designers, Kristen Baird and Jocelyn Crane, who has a really amazing brand called Falklora. Uh, elevated and stepped up and did a video for her website. And I'm just really excited for both of them. And there's so many more amazing stories, which I will be sharing with you. But I know that for a lot of you, you're really struggling with the DIY part of doing it all yourself and getting things up online. And you're, you're not at a space where you can invest like, you know, 15 or $20,000 in a brand new website and or to have it like professionally designed by someone who is skilled in you know this type of market or this type of thing. But you do want support. You do want that extra support. You want to have people giving you feedback on copy. You wanna know what's missing on your website. You wanna understand what goes into a high converting website that can actually move people to sales. And you also wanna get things automated so that you're actually selling while you're sleeping because that's what a lot of us really wanna do. We wanna have wake up in the morning and have sales in our inbox. So that's what this series is all about. I'm really excited. So make sure that if you haven't done it yet, that you download our digital marketing momentum scorecard, that you score yourself because this is the important part so that you can see where you sort of stand in this digital marketing universe because we really want you to have success online. We want you to have sold out sales on your e-store and we really want you to be one of those brands that people are lusting after and coming back for more. So you can grab that over at the show notes over at flourishthriveacademy.com forward slash episode 113. That's flourishthriveacademy.com forward slash episode 113. Or you can go straight to the source, flourishthriveacademy.com forward slash marketing scorecard. All right, let's dive right into today's episode because I'm excited to get this party started. So you might be wondering what goes into a solid digital marketing strategy. Well, it's a couple of things. So I wanna like sort of back out and go into this high level kind of overview. We did a lot of 360 views with Kathleen. Uh, I've already recorded the interview, so I already know what's gonna happen, but we did a lot of uh, 360 views with Kathleen. So make sure that you listen to that tomorrow about paid traffic to automation. But when you're thinking about a digital marketing strategy, you wanna really think about how everything interconnects. How does your email strategy connect with your social media strategy, connect with what you're doing on Pinterest, 
connect with what you're blogging about, connect with the layout and design of your website and connect with all the marketing tools and assets that you're actually using. So with that, when we go into this high level digital marketing strategy overview, we want to really be thinking holistically as a brand, like what is it that we're using to get people engaged with our brand, to drive traffic to our site, to get people to convert and to actually make a sale. So it combines a lot of different things. Like I said, it, it's social media, it's how your website's laid out, it's the tools that you use, like video, which I mentioned earlier. It's what you're blogging about, how people are finding you. So when you're thinking of this 360 view, what are some of the tools that you wanna use? Like how do you wanna put your brand out there? How do you wanna connect with your dream clients? So once you do this, you really wanna map out some sort of plan or strategy surrounding you know, promotion or your end objective. So you might have some goals, like maybe you have a sales goal, or maybe you're launching a new collection and you have a revenue goal for sales for that collection. Or maybe it's that you are doing a Black Friday or Cyber Monday promotion, and you wanna create a strategy and sales around that. So I really want you to be thinking, sort of take this a big picture strategy and start to dial it down so that you can create a plan so that you have something to work with. And so if we started at a very granular level, uh, you might be you know, thinking about like, let's say you're gonna launch your new collection for holiday, you're getting it ready, it's the end of September, you're ready to launch it if you haven't already, hopefully you're launching it soon, your fall and holiday collection. But let's talk about the strategy around that. So like, how are you gonna tease it? You know, are you gonna tease it out a couple weeks? Are you going to, what's gonna happen during the launch of the promotion? Are you going to offer something special to your VIPs? Are you going to offer something special to your cold traffic or new traffic? How are you promoting that? Are you trying to get press or blogger or influencer strategy? Are you trying to get additional exposure in another way? How are you tying all these things together and leveraging those things as well? How are you letting people know about what it is that you're doing? What's your email strategy? How are you posting this out on social? Which social platforms are you using? And then also which search engine tools are you using? You know, Pinterest is considered a search engine tool. How are you promoting on Pinterest? How are you blogging so that you're getting SEO and that you're getting traffic to your site based on what it is that you're developing? So this is all like the higher level strategy. You need to dial that all into a plan. And that plan can be housed in a marketing calendar or some sort of strategy calendar. So when we're launching big promotions here at Flourish and Thrive, uh, I know it's a different kind of business because we are an education company as opposed to being a product-based company, but I would do the same thing for you know the launch of a collection. We create a launch map in Google Docs. So we have a spreadsheet where we keep all the links to all the assets. We use one page of the spreadsheet to create a marketing calendar for that promotion. We map out dates. We know exactly when everything's launched. We know the time and content that's gonna be in all of the emails. And then we also have Facebook Lives and social media mapped around that. So I really encourage you to do the same thing by mapping out your promotions in advance. Everything from your Facebook Live strategies, the emails that you're using, how you're teasing it, what's going out on your social media, any content that you're creating around it. This is very, very, very important. So you can see sort of we come up with this bigger strategy we create a plan and then we start to map out the details. So it starts sort of like if you look, it's like an inverted triangle. If you look at the bigger part of the funnel, you start dialing it down. And then part of our, you know, momentum marketing scorecard also includes like how you are getting referrals and rewarding people who come back to buy more. So I briefly mentioned it before, but you know, what is it that you're going to be doing to reward the people who are coming back to purchase again? Do you have some sort of loyalty program? Or is there a VIP insider access program? Because as part of your digital marketing strategy, you might want to consider, you know, rewarding those people who buy again with something special, maybe giving them first a first look at the collection or a special discount or a special gift if they buy, you know, something from the new collection or a certain amount. So thinking about this in the bigger picture, like how are you rewarding people who already have purchased for you, from you, excuse me, and how are you rewarding people who actually refer you new clients? Because you could take your loyal customers and create a referral campaign for them where they can earn rewards for referring new clients for you. So this can all be part of your digital marketing strategy because 
that you can create tools for them to share, uh, affiliate links, referral links, however you want to set it up. And I know that with website platforms like Shopify, this is a really great opportunity for you to actually go out and like add apps to your website store so that you can create this like referral base and get people coming back for more, which is what I really love. And then you want to think about how you're sort of nurturing those people and helping your brand stay top of mind. So we're going to talk a little bit more about this tomorrow, about how paid advertising and automation play into digital marketing strategy. So I don't want to like spill the beans of everything that I'm going to talk with Kathleen about tomorrow. But this is also part of your digital marketing strategy because you can do a lot of this without having to do work over and over again. You can automate the process for your opt-in process, for your uh, abandoned cart process, for any sort of like buyback process or like nurture process with previous clients. Like you want to be thinking about how you can automate and use, you know, paid elements like Facebook ad or ads or retargeting or Pinterest ads to help like starting to start to funnel more traffic into into your funnel more traffic into your funnel or to your website however you want to put it then other things that you want to be thinking about when you're creating this overarching digital marketing strategy is you want to make sure that you're setting yourself up in the right way by using the right tools one of the main tools that we spoke about before is using your marketing calendar I've done lots of podcasts and trainings about this so I'm not going to go into depth about a marketing calendar, but make sure that you're using project management tools that are setting you up for success. So we use a tool called Asana here. It's a, or Asana. (laughs) I always say it wrong. I'm laughing so hard at myself because I used to teach yoga. (laughs) We call it Asana and yoga, and this tool is called Asana, but it's spelt the same way. So Asana, it's a really great PM tool if you like it. I know a lot of designers really like Trello because of the cards. Um, One of my favorites, Ezra Firestone, uses Trello. So just pick a project management tool that works for you. And then if you're working with team members, make sure that you have a communication tool that actually helps you communicate better and out of email. So use something like Slack uh, to instant message. And the final tool, which I think is a tool that everyone should be using, is a drive or cloud sharing sort of system like Google, the Google Docs suite or the Google Office suite. And the reason why I love the Google suite or Google Drive is because you can share documents with multiple people on your team and all those documents are hosted in the cloud and they're updated in real time so multiple people can be working on them at the same time. It's pretty amazing. Anyway, make sure that you're using the right tools to set yourself up for success to help keep track of all these things that you're doing. Because think about it, if you're running a really lush digital marketing campaign and you're trying to launch a new collection and there's all these moving parts, if you don't have a way to keep track of when and how and where everything gets done with deadlines and timers and all that stuff, it's gonna be really hard for you to have a lot of success with it. Things are gonna fall through the cracks, things are not gonna get done, Your efforts or all that hard work that you put in could potentially fall flat and you want to make sure that you stay on track. And if you're anything like me, super visionary, idea oriented person, you have a hard time keeping track of like, you know, when the last time you ate lunch was. So, I mean, I'm joking a little bit, but not really because your your brain works at a mile a minute. You have a lot of ideas and it becomes, you know, more challenging for people like us to stay super organized and on point. So... Make sure that you do your due diligence to keep track and keep all of this going. And so another really important part of a solid digital marketing strategy is to set yourself up for success by batching content. Because when you're launching uh, something online, like let's say you're doing a new collection launch, you need a lot of content to go with that. Content can be anything from blog posts, email promotions that you write, uh, social media posts, graphics that you design to put on social media and Pinterest, advertising, copy for the advertising, any other promotional materials that are going to be part of this. This is all very, very important for you to keep this going. And I think it's a really important thing that you need to be thinking about when you're doing this. So if you aren't scheduling out blocks of time to write the content, especially if you're doing everything yourself, 
I highly recommend that you do this. And this is an important piece of like a launch strategy and a digital marketing strategy to really have success and make sure that you're staying on track with all the little pieces that you have to do. It's also a great way to not get overwhelmed. When you're doing all the content creation in one fell swoop and you're batching all of it together, it really takes all the guesswork out. I didn't realize this, I was doing this automatically, but I kind of learned how to do this better from one of our partners, Melissa Casera. she's awesome. She used to come and teach PR to our Laying the Foundation students and she sort of pivoted in her business, but she created this really great training for our designers about how to batch content and do it all at once so that you're thinking about it. The best way to batch content and get a bunch of stuff done at one time is to you know, start with this like sort of inverted triangle funnel idea that I'm talking about. Think big picture and then keep dialing it down so you can get really specific and you know exactly what you're gonna be talking about in your pieces of content. So you can map all those things out on your marketing calendar and then when it comes time to write, you can block out like one day a month, get it all done, get all the assets that you need for that done and get it ready to roll. It makes it super, super easy. And finally, you want to find ways to fast track to success. So this could be anything from getting support, taking shortcuts, uh, learning hacks and getting feedback on your strategy. Like this is one of the most important things that you could potentially do for yourself and your business. And here's the reason why. A lot of times we can't see what we can't see, or as Robin likes to say, you don't know what you don't know. And we might be working in a bubble thinking, oh, well, you know, I wrote this about page, that should be good enough. Or I wrote this blog content, that should be good enough. But we're missing holes, we're missing gaps, we're missing things that we don't know. And if you are someone who is out there saying like, I'm getting traffic to my site, but no one is buying, or maybe you're not even getting enough traffic, there's probably a reason why. And anyone with the right strategy, the right design, the right user experience and right flow can have a successful business selling their jewelry online. But a lot of times the reason why people aren't getting, or many of you designers aren't getting the results that you want is because you're not seeing what's not going right. Uh, You maybe have like a website that's not designed in a way that gets people flowing through the process of the sale. You might have a digital marketing strategy that's not really getting enough exposure, or you might not have the confidence to put yourself out there in the sense that, you know, you might be like, oh, oh, this is too much. Like, I don't want to email people twice about my promotion because I emailed them yesterday or something like that. Well, I want to encourage you to continue to really grow and strategically think about how you're getting feedback and support for your business. Because a lot of times DIY is not the best way. The best way is to get, you know, eyeballs on what you're doing. And within like, you know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes with outside eyes looking at your work, a lot of times like that missing link can be like plugged up, fixed and corrected within seconds. And I've been talking a lot about some of the designers that I've been working with in our mastermind this year. And I spoke about Kristen Baird earlier. She has some really big things on the horizon. I don't think I can announce it yet, but she's, she's just killing it. This girl is awesome. And she was getting a ton of press. She gets a lot of press. She's a really talented designer. She's a really unique design aesthetic and she's launching a fine jewelry line or just launched it. And she was getting a lot of press, but like a lot of that, the traffic that was coming to her site, she wasn't really attracting the right kind of customers. She couldn't figure out why she was getting a lot of custom inquiries that weren't really the right fit. And also, you know, people weren't necessarily buying as much her silver stuff. She ended up doing a lot of the things, you know, taking on some custom work, which in ways that she didn't really want to. And she was wondering why people, even though she was doing all this regular posting, why people weren't buying necessarily from her site. And when I took a look at her website and we did this little sort of website overview and overhaul, you know, I just gave her a couple pieces of feedback and that allowed her to literally run with it. And at our live event last week, I I probably heard talked about this earlier in the episode, but I sort of showed the transformation. Just a few little comments about here and there and things that you could change. Like those quick pieces of feedback can make a world of difference. 
Her brand is completely revamped. She just launched her fine jewelry line and her website supports the design aesthetic and the look of what she's actually going for to attract her dream clients. And that little tweak has gotten her so much success and results that it's ridiculous. And so I want you to really think about like what a little bit of feedback and support could really help you do to get to the next level. If you're someone who's serious about getting your online sales on autopilot, getting these sales kind of working while you're in your sleep and making money and waking up every morning to a slew of orders in your inbox. And that's like what we all want, uh, I think, is to have this consistent stream of orders coming in to really build an online presence. That is if you want to build your business online. But that requires a cohesive digital marketing strategy in order to do that from everything from social media to website uh, development and design to branding to what you're blogging about, to the content creation piece, to how you're writing on your website, to your product descriptions, to how you're even setting up your e-commerce store and the things that you're doing in order to kind of create that. And so with that being said, I want to make sure that you all download our digital marketing momentum scorecard. It's a really amazing resource for you to sort of evaluate where you are in the digital marketing strategy phase. And then also to kind of see where the holes are in your business. Like if you're not able to get something as basic up as like start emailing your customers like at least once a month and you're wondering why you're not getting traffic uh, to your site, you know, there's a huge missed opportunity right there. These are things that you want to be thinking about on a regular basis and consistently doing. So this is going to really shine a light on that. And we created this for a variety of reasons. You know, we love helping you guys out for free. But I also, you know, really love to be able to support you on a bigger level in your business. And a lot of designers were asking for one-on-one coaching. We didn't have a one-on-one coaching program. The only way that you could work with the Flourish and Thrive team was to join our mastermind. Well, we made a decision to put the mastermind on the back burner for the next year so that we could focus on something that's really centered around digital marketing, because that's what a lot of the designers have been asking for, because they want to be building sales and traffic and getting conversions online. So that's why we released the Strategic Online Success Accelerator or SOS Accelerator last week. We just announced and it's a really amazing program. It is a group slash one-on-one coaching program that is designed to help you go from trickles of traffic to sold out sales on your e-store. And our desire is that every day you're waking up with a bevy of orders in your inbox. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, building a successful online business does take a little bit of time. It does take persistence. It does take consistency. But with these little steps and little pieces of feedback, you are gonna get massive results really quickly. So here's how it works. Every month you're gonna get a group coaching call with me. It'll be focused on digital marketing strategy. It'll be giving you feedback on what it is that's going on. It'll be with guest speakers, trainings, like all that sort of thing. Um, Every month you will get a one-on-one coaching call based on where you are on the Momentum Marketing Scorecard. And we have coaches of all types. So these are laser-focused coaching calls. And these laser coaching calls are really designed around where you need it most. If you need help with your product description, you can jump on with a one of our copywriting coach. If you need help with Pinterest strategy, you can jump on with one of our social media Pinterest coaches. If you need help dealing with your overall branding and building brand confidence, you can get on the horn with one of our confidence coaches. And we have a wide range of coaches from many of the experts, including Melissa and Kathleen, who are on this series with me this week, uh, along with Jess and Anna Maria and Sarah from our Diamond Insiders. They're going to be doing one-on-one coaching to a whole bevy of experts that we've curated, including Darian Chavez, Marissa Wood, and so many more. I'm really, really excited about this program. So if you're interested in learning more and you're someone who really wants to up-level their online marketing and increase their sales this year, I'd highly encourage you to check it out. Head on over to flourishthriveacademy.com forward slash SOS. That's flourishthriveacademy.com forward slash SOS. On that page, you can apply to the program. It's gonna be awesome, and we're really excited and looking forward to supporting you. We know this is gonna be a game changer, and we're ready to help you change your game and start waking up to orders every single morning. All right, 
Talk to you later, guys. I will see you in the next episode tomorrow. Remember, we have Kathleen Cutler on the show. Make sure that you join us for the episode tomorrow. Bye.